Hello there everyone, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are currently on the trial called Turnabout Sisters and I have just talked to Mr. Grossberg who thank God has no more lines because uh, I chose an unwise voice for him that um, is, is very unkind to my throat cords. So I'm now going to go back to the detention center and speak with Maya. So let's see what's going on now. He's refused this case. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Why don't you tell her the truth, Nick? Well, see, just be honest. Yeah, be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. Wow, way to be honest. What really happened? <laughs> Ain't getting nothing past this one. Dang it. You don't mean he refused to help. Erp. What is that, erp? I see. I've been abandoned then. Oh. Listen to this music. Oh, that's awful. Alright, let's see. The day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just watched my sister die right in front of my face. All I've been doing the all I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I guess that's true. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so true. So then, what did you when you blah, 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 blah. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine o'clock. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. Th then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Except your family! Let's talk about that! <laughs> what about your family? I thought that's all you needed to hear. I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Well, that's... Don't know. So she could still be alive. Did you lose her? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Hopefully not your father. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Ellipses. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. She's <laughs> just sitting on a mountain, eating mountain creatures. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? Oh boy. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone talking about it, apparently. What is with you guys in murder cases? The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Oh. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. Well, that sounds suspicious. It's ridiculous. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, 
became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. Uh oh. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. <laughs> 4 o'clock p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yeah, go home. Um, I'm gonna go defend Maya because I'm still going for the nice guy routine, but she really did not want me to defend her. But I guess she needs someone right now. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. That's the face of a joyous young child. Why? <laughs> why? Well, I can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Okay. Aww. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for people who have no one on their side. Good guy, Nick. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Ellipses. That's so kind of you. Sniff. Yeah, she actually said sniff. Probably, maybe, not really. No, she didn't. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Whew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? <laughs> yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? Let's not go back and talk to her. It was when I tried to look into that drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. You know, that little green... Th I'm not gonna... Nope, I'm just not gonna... That looked really not like a... Hmm. What's long and cylindrical and sometimes strange colors, maybe? Sticking out of busty women's drawers in hotel rooms. So we're moving. I guess we'll go to the Gatewater Hotel now. Oh boy. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait. Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. <laughs> ah, you came back quick. Look at that tea balancing skill. Oh my gosh. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. <coughs> Mr. White, that's a hint. Come on, Phoenix. Mr. White of Blue Corp why have I heard that? Really? Oh, there we go. Flashback sequence. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could be a coincidence. Examine. Let's go straight to the I mean drawer. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Oh boy! Now's my chance to see what's inside. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what do we have here? A wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Don't ask, your <laughs> don't ask yourself that question. You know when you get somewhere and you're like, how did I get here? Yeah. 
these are the turns we take to get there, Phoenix. Don't ask yourself that question. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Not just her boob size. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? What is that, number four? Are we starting new with each video? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom weight. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, I think we know what you mean. Oh, bellboy, still there? Oh, that was her, my bad. Oh, oh bellboy, still there? Ugh. Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing. Well, that's interesting. You don't usually see that verb used that way. Tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. <laughs> That line to be continued. All right, and I will for certainly be continued. I'm going to go ahead and save this and save up to this cleared point, um, or rather save cleared stage data up to this point to read that specifically. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a little bit of a shorter video, but, you know, it's such a convenient time to stop. So um, I'm going to stop here, and uh, maybe I'll upload two today just, just to keep things interesting. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, and thank you so much. Please leave a comment in the little blowy section. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, uh, while maintaining your nice, beautiful, smiling attitude faces. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be shot. And um, I hope you guys have an awesome day, even after that horrible comment. <laughs>